Well, I've just arrived at the motor show on the uh, race course near Oadby and uh, the first car I see is this Rolls Royce Silver Spirit again from last week. <laughs> so that's a good start. I've had a walk around and I found the cars at last. <laughs> right, this is called a standard. That's a lovely little car, that is. I like this one. Volkswagen. That's uh, another, another Volkswagen just there, the blue one. That's interesting, it's very low down that is. That would kill my back driving that. Triumph TR6. This one we're looking at is a, is a Morris Oxford. Now that's more my cup of tea. And the owner's having a picnic at the boot. That's the way to do it. Nice woodwork in this, uh, I think it's the TR6. Lovely woodwork there. Now this one's just caught my attention. This is a Vauxhall Victor. I used to have one of these. Uh, this one's obviously been uh, uh, souped up a bit because mine never looked this good. It's great to see something that uh, was a familiar car on the road some years ago. Here's a, here's a Sunbeam. Standing next to an MG. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, lovely old MG that is. I can see me riding around the countryside in that. Something a bit larger here, it's an Armstrong Sidley. Anyway, back to the MG, I do like this one. But driving out. This is um, this one here is an Austin Swallow. It looks like I caught the owners at lunchtime. Here's that Lincoln Continental again from last week. It's actually got a for sale sign on it. Yeah. Back if he's lucky. That one up there, it's all yours for 9750. Mm, not bad. <laughs> Next to the Lincoln is this old Austin. That's more my cup of tea. Little Hillman Sunbeam. <laughs> There's something unusual. It's a three wheeler, it's called a Messerschmitt. I think I've said that right. One very careful teddy bear owner. 
There's a lot of people here today. I'm, I'm trying to wait until people move. But here is Ford Cortina. <laughs> next to the uh, next to the Cortina is this uh, Capri Ford Capri. Yeah. Now we're moving up the ranges here. We've got, uh, I can see over there, Bentley and uh, Rolls Royce. We'll have a look at those. I've never seen this model of Bentley before. That's a mystery to me, this is. What's this one? Now, if you're watching this, Shelley, this is a black Rolls Royce. One of the new ones. It's a Phantom, I think. I prefer the older ones. Next to that is a Bentley. Well, this is this is how they look these days. Uh, how do you pick the truck with the The Backstreet Metro, apparently. Some minis here. Uh, this is some kind of a hybrid and uh, part MG, part Triumph, I think. It's sort of handmade by very, with various different parts, according to the little sign. Uh, interesting. Uh, this one's a Morris. Let's have another look. Here's another Morris. I think it says it's uh, a Morris 6. 1950, it says on the notice. Did he go on your You probably gathered I like the older cars best. That's an old Ford. A few more old cars up there, I spot. Yes, I was right. It's an, it's an old Morris, this one. Next to a open top MG. Another Ford Capri. Very popular car on the British roads years ago, these were. A friend of mine owned one of these. Here's a little French uh, Citroën. These are great little runabouts. Yes, sterling, 30 grams. That's all you have to ask for. Oh, I think I've pretty much covered all the older vehicles, so I'm just going to go uh, retrace my steps and uh, 
film a few more bits and pieces on the way out. The Triumph. I can't remember what I filmed now. <laughs> I might have to repeat myself a bit, so forgive me that. I was wondering what was making all that noise. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, let's turn it off now. I'm not even sure what it is, it just says V10 on it. Maybe the viewers uh, might guess what it is. And back to some quieter vehicles. I still love this old Austin here. There's a slightly better view of that Lincoln, I think, as people moved. Spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. So let's not forget the ice cream van. A very important vehicle indeed. That's a strange kind of car. I can't see that driving down the road very easily. Ah, here we are at the beginning, back to my favourite car again. Now where is my chauffeur? I hope he's not in the pub again. Oh well, see you next time. Bye for now.